Hey there, it's Tank Girl, and this here is the iPad 2, and we're going to unbox it. This is a 16 gigabyte 3G model with GSM radio, so for AT&T in the US. Um, it's taken me a while to get this because it arrived while I was at CTIA, so it was sitting around at FedEx for a while. So, uh, this is what it looks like, and I have a bunch of other things to compare it to here, so let's get started, okay? Da, 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 da. There it is, white, and you can see my window. So, first you get the iPad. It's very thin, as you can see, very, very thin. 8.8 .8 millimeters, thinner than the iPhone 4. Um, and it's very white, which I'm really glad. Uh, let's uh, get to this in a second. I just want to show you what's in the box, because there's not really much in here. There is the AC adapter, which is actually smaller than the one from the iPad, the original iPad. Um, just as I mentioned in my Zoom unboxing video, I sold my own personal iPad, the original. It was a 3G 16 gigabyte model, just like this iPad 2. But I sold it, so I don't have a, one for comparison. But this is the uh, same size as the original iPhone AC adapter. Um, it's not as big. I think the uh, one from the... Uh, original iPad was about this big. So that's kind of cool. Uh, then we have some paperwork here uh, with the usual ubiquitous design by Apple in California. Let's have a look inside. So here you have the usual SIM removal tool as illustrated here. And you have some manuals. So let's have a quick look at these. We have a little iPad Shows you the controls, really nothing much. Some text in the back. Uh, set up sync and charge. And you know, really, this is what I still cannot fathom about iOS. Why do you need to connect your iTunes at all? Like, this should be just be like Android. You turn it on, it goes to the cloud and does what it needs to do. But hey, uh, so this is iPad warranty, I guess. And then you have the ubiquitous Apple stickers. Uh, that you get on almost any Apple device purchase. And finally, of course, the USB data charge cable, which is proprietary Apple as usual. 30 pin iPod connector. So that's it in the box. So let's go back to the to the tablet itself, to the to the iPad. Um, you know, this is this is nothing new. This has been hashed and rehashed. You see the uh, Power, sorry, the uh, home key here. It's a little, kind of hard to see because it's hard for the camera to focus on it. There it is. And so there's nothing else in the giant 10 inch screen or 9 inch, whatever it is. And here's a front facing VGA camera right there. That's pretty much the fit for the front. And in the back, you have the iPad logo. As you can see, this is a 16 gigabyte model. And then it's got the uh, Apple logo in the back. And on the top it gets interesting because this is a 3G model. So it's got the antenna strip for the 3G here in black, which the Wi-Fi model doesn't have. And it has the um, headphone jack on this side here. And the uh, power key, lock key on this side with the 1 megapixel 720p capable, you know, pretty crap. But... You know, it's a start camera in the back here. And of course, the orientation lock now turned mute, which I think can be selectable. Switch is here, and then the, uh, the volume rocker. So um, that's, that's it, the, uh, the iPad. Now let me uh, just remove this from its... Uh, actually, I forgot to show you the bottom here. There is the 30-pin uh, connector and speaker grill. So let me remove this from the um, from its packaging, like this. I'm going to do this the, uh, such a way that I, if I want to sell it, it uh, will be repackageable. I am kind of like that about my Apple products since I own this one. Um, so there it is. Now without the stuff. Now, turning it on really won't be very exciting because it'll ask me to connect to iTunes, but I'll show you so you can see what the display looks like. Apple logo. And maybe incline it a little bit so you can see. And in a second, it'll probably want to connect to iTunes, which is kind of fail. Fail, sorry. 
if if you think if you think about it shouldn't have to do that really there it is the f icon of fail um, but hey you know life goes on so in the back it looks like this now without the plastic wrapper you see one big slab of aluminum this is significantly thinner and definitely lighter than the uh, original iPad again I don't have one for comparison but uh, I do have a few other things here so just stay patient you can see the 30 pin connector here I'm hiding my serial number iPad 16 Apple logo here close up on the camera and the power and the lock and the volume buttons and the of course notice there actually seems to be some little maybe a microphone up here probably a microphone didn't notice that before and of course the headphone jack um also uh let's see we haven't looked at it yet it's it's actually right here in this corner sorry it's uh, a little difficult to film this kind of heavy not that heavy but heavier than what i'm used to unboxing so this is the sim tray a little hole here is where you put the uh the pin and uh, to unlock it so actually let me see if I can show you that um, I need to get the pin so here we go and uh, let's see here there we go so I just you just insert this like that and I suppose you you push on it like this and then as you can see it just kind of popped out a little bit and here's the micro sim sim card and its tray this is obviously an AT&T sim and maybe my camera will even focus at some point in the next two seconds 10 20 no there we go so AT&T micro sim and Plugging it back in here now. It's a little difficult to uh, to do with even two hands. So there we go. So now size comparisons, right? So this is the iPad 2, and right here I have the Zoom from Verizon and Motorola. So as you can see, the Zoom is a lot narrower, but it is wider. Uh, thickness wise is no comparison I mean the iPad let me just put them glass to glass it's fair comparison here uh, you can clearly see how much thinner the iPad is here like that so um, and then here you can kind of see how the iPad is actually not as tall but wider There you go. And so back to back, this is what they look like next to each other. And again, front to front, this is what they look like next to each other. So let's see, now I also have a Galaxy Tab. Unfortunately, it's traveling with my spouse right now, but I have something very similar here. I have a Nook Color. So the Nook Color is a seven inch re -re ebook reader with a LCD display. So it gives you an idea. Um, you can see the thickness difference. Very similar in thickness, these two. Maybe the, I think the no color is actually a little thicker. And here you have the uh, size comparison in the back. And obviously the nook is a lot smaller. And then finally, I think we probably want to compare this to an iPhone so I have an iPhone 4 here and the first thing we want to do is check out the thickness and uh, trying to line them up so that they're both in the actually let me uh, do this where I line them up in the edge here yes you can see that the iPad is slightly thinner than the iPhone 4 it's pretty amazing and so here we are we're upside down now but here we are and here's the iPhone it's not going to stay like that for very long because it's sliding on the glass and then of course in the back this is what it looks like 
good size comparison. And then, of course, I wouldn't be complete if I didn't compare it to the, a gingerbread device because I had a Zoom tablet earlier. So this is my Nexus S. And so this is what it looks like. Nexus is bigger than the iPhone, so it gives you an idea. 4-inch display versus 3.5. Uh, let me just put this to sleep by hitting the power button. And then this is what it looks like. Nexus S on top of the iPad 2. And then thickness, of course, the iPad's going to win on this one. The Nexus S has never claimed to be a very thin phone. It's not horrible, but it's not the thinnest. And you can see the curved display on the Nexus S because my finger appears back here. And there you have it, the uh, quick unboxing of the uh, iPad 2. This is a 16 gigabyte 3G model with GSM radio and it's for myself. So keep uh, your ears and eyes open for more on the iPad 2 here soon. Cheers.